Had a super hard time with that finish. We're gonna talk about why in this video. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Rare Tate Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about how to identify why your finish has got no power. So one of the big things that happens, there's a couple of reasons actually, and one of the things that you're gonna see is a weak or late block where the block basically moves past the point, whether that's the shot, or the discus, right? So one of the key things is to know that basically your off balance is gonna be the orbit of the shoulders. Once those, the shoulders get a little too much in this position, you tend to shift. And what you wanna understand is the throw again is a chain reaction. So all the stuff we do back here in pillar one, two, three, right, four, five is what's going to set up that finish. So, so many of you guys out there are spending all this time and you're focusing on like all these things to improve your finish, which you're supposed to, and that's what we do do inside the throwing chain reaction system, right? We're gonna teach you how the chain reaction works and we're gonna teach you how that relates to your finish. So one of the things though that you wanna see is, are you seeing the shoulders in this position? Because once the shoulders are in this position, you're shifting yourself out of position. That is gonna be the byproduct of other things typically in your throw. Now, you can just set up your throw incorrectly in all phases. So we see a lot of stand throwers, right? A lot of, got, a lot of young athletes that are doing their stand throws, they get in the throw and they do this and they bend and they tweak the orbit and now they're gonna shift their hips. And once those hips shift, that shoulder comes up and you've got no choice because you're going forward to pull around to try to maintain stretch against the discus or to feel that stretch against the shot. So you start missing your block and by the time you go here, you lose the delivery side and the block is past you. This sounds like something you're doing inside the throwing chain reaction system. We go through a whole bunch of reasons why. There are multiple reasons why, but you are off balance and you're shifting and that's gonna kill your throw and you can just work your stand throw to death and it's not gonna change anything. So if this is happening to you, be sure to throw a comment down below. Let us know. Take a look at your throws. If you see that shoulder coming up in your throw into the finish, you're off balance and you need to know how to fix it. And that's always athlete dependent. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully that helped you kind of see some things in your throw. If you have any comments, be sure to hit them below. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the link for the Throwing Chain Reaction System and we will see you on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into what we we do with the throwing chain reaction system if you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential click the link below and we will see you on the next video